today as titles i'm going to be showing you guys how to do jumbo tribal braids tribal jumbo braids there you go tribal jumbo braids hairstyle is super cute as you can see if you want to know how to do this hairstyle we just go hop right into the video so that you can check it out okay guys so my hair is freshly washed and blow dried out because we about to do girl wait wait you want to say hey to youtube come on so we should say what's good say what's up anyways check this out so the hair I'm going to be using today is from the Janet collection. So it is the one, like it's a really long package. It is the one with three pieces in them. It's pre-stretched, antibacterial, itch-free, and non-flammable. I tend to get like a really itchy scalp sometimes when I do use braiding hair. So I'm really glad that this is like itch free and has and it's antibacterial. Okay, so this is the 56 inch, you know, it already has like the tapered ends, so you don't have to worry about like trying to stretch it out and stuff like that because it's already there. And it says it's extremely lightweight, so we're gonna see what this hair is all about. Um, I've used the Janet collection before, but never for braids or anything like that. So, we're gonna test that out today. You feel me or you don't feel me? Oh, and this is the Easy Text, Easy Text. You can put it in water. I just wanna make that clear, you can put it in water. All right, so before I get any further, I do want to say thank you to the Janet Collection for sending me this hair. They also sent me this little letter. It says, you're the best. Hey gorgeous, thank you for taking the time to review our products. We hope that this product will make you feel and look even more beautiful. Slay Sis, XOXO Janet Collection. Girl, y'all know I'm about to slay. Don't play with me, okay? <laughs> so, Thank you again, you know what I'm saying? And they gave me this cute little pink comb, rat tail comb. It does say Janet Collection on it. So this is really cute. So I'm gonna be using this in the video. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is part my hair ear to ear. That look about right, right? Okay. So Pick this up. Then we're gonna bust the back down the middle too. So I'm just going to go straight and back like this. I'm gonna use a hair tie to hold it and then use a mirror to look at the back and then whatever it's not straight, I'm going to part it. One second. All right, so check me out. I have this section, this section, then the front section, and then later on, I'm gonna take out these on the side. But right now, I'm going to make my triangle sections in the back. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. And we're going to try to make them as clean as possible. Oh, so I do like to use 
like a jam. I am going to be using Let's Jam Condition and Shine Gel Extra Hold, okay? This is what I'm gonna be using. And you're also going to need rubber bands because I am doing the rubber band method today. take this out and I'm going to make clean sections with the jam. where the braids will go. I kind of go at an angle. this much of hair then I'm going to split into two pieces and cross it over Just add jam on each strand. 
stop it right here. So I'm just gonna tie it so that it doesn't unravel. So I want it like this length. All right, so let's bust into this one, like this much of hair. You're going to split it down the middle, crisscross it, make it like this. And then, I like to section this off so I can know what I'm grabbing. And then, go like this, like this, like you're doing a box braid. Grab the hair. And I start breathing in the direction of where the hair goes. to go ahead and do these sides this side and then once I'm done I'm going to show you guys how I do the jumbo braids and they're going to look cute so I did all four of the braids they look really good and nice and perfect length for me so now I'm going to go ahead and use this hair right here Split it down the middle, crisscross applesauce it, flip it, and then you're gonna have two pieces that look like this. Then I'm going to go in like a box braid again, grab my hair, and I'm just going to braid. This is probably the easiest part. But this hair is really light, lightweight though, really lightweight. Dip the hair in some hot water. Once I have them dipped, these, I'm going to put beads on them. So I have these cute little beads. You can use a crochet needle to do this, but I'm gonna try my best to just stick it in here because I really don't feel like looking for no crochet needle so then i'm gonna go ahead and flip it grab a rubber band and i'm gonna wrap it like five six times i'm just going to cut it off hold on fix his hair cut it off so it looks like this and I'm going to put the same bead on every single one so this is what the ends look like really cute up this video if you like it give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment don't forget to like don't forget to share and most of all 
don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that you are notified when I upload a new video. Also, if you do like the hair that I used, it is from the Janet Collection. This is the Easy, Easy Tech 3 Pack hair, braiding hair. It's really lightweight, soft, antibacterial, itch free, all of the above. So if you have like, you're prone to itchy scalp, this would be perfect. But who wants an itchy scalp anyways? This is the 56 inch in the color four. So if you're interested in doing this hairstyle, everything I use will be in the description box. So make sure you guys check that out. But thank you again to the Jenny Collection for sending me the hair. And thank you all for watching this video. Till next time, mucho besitos.